A great day, amazing being. I just wanted to tap in with you, give you some game, give you some empowerment real quick. I'm going to give you this game, and it comes from key number 33. It's a divine number from my book, divine book, The Greater Existence, 111 Keys to Walking in Your Infinity. This is my fifth book. Um, and I'm going to give you this game from key number 33. So check this out. Your mind is a garden that you must tend to daily. Conversations and thoughts often leave debris in the field of our minds that must be cleared and weeds must be uprooted. Unfruitful seeds of thought that are given a chance to take root in your mind will act as weeds and begin to choke out what is good and healthy. After you work in your garden, relax and enjoy the growth. Chill out. Be nicer to yourself. Think more thoughts about yourself and others that feel good. Don't work so hard. Give yourself a break. Do more of the things that make you happy after you have tended to your garden. See, if you do not tend to your garden, you'll have things growing in your life that don't need to be growing in your life. You'll have relationships growing. You'll have interests growing. You'll have addictions growing. You'll have mindsets and mentalities growing that don't elevate your life. But you'll never know if you never tend to for what is to come. You know, if you got a garden, you got to go and pull out the weeds. What do the weeds do? Under the surface, they may not look harmful, but under the surface, they are choking out what is good. They are creating the condition for what you want to happen, which is that harvest to not happen. Creating opportunities of failure under the surface. That's what these thoughts do. These thoughts that we don't uproot, that we don't deal with, that we allow to sit in our subconscious mind. Your subconscious believes what you tell it. It has no reasoning. It has no logic to it. So it believes it and it moves as if it's true. And that's why there's many people out here suffering. And you may be one of them. And if you are, I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is that... Well, the bad news is that you're suffering. But the good news is that suffering means that... You can do something different to end it. If there is any bad news, is that you have to do something to end it. It's also be the good news because nothing's standing in your way. You know, so take this moment to elevate yourself beyond your situation. Most of all, look at what's growing in your life and say, do I want to keep these things growing? If you need to weed them out, weed them out. If you need to pull them out, pull them out. You know what a rape do? It pulls up what's not rooted. You got to go through the field of your mind and the garden of your life at times and rake through it and pull up and remove what's not rooted. I see the blessings. Allow the water to come, allow the rain to come. Sometimes storms come into our lives and we're trying to battle the storm and we're upset about the storm. Don't you understand? Sometimes these storms are here to wash away the debris. 